to participate in uh, the euro as their currency and uh, eviscerate the representative government. You know, they want it all completely run out of Brussels. And that's every, every time you see these new, you know, European uh, stability mechanisms and every uh, all these other acronyms that have come out. It's all been about taking the power away from the people of the country in question. Namely, it's been Greece, but not just Greece. I mean, we've seen, you know, the technocrats uh, be put into uh, Italy as well as Greece. But it's all been one design, which is to, there's too much democracy. I, I shouldn't use the word democracy, but there's too much representative government inside of Europe. A lot of people, you know, I, I get this a lot. Well, at least we're not uh, socialists like, uh, like they're over there in Europe. Th that's a crock. You know, we've lost representative government. When, you know, George W. Bush suspended free market capitalism in order to save it, we lost it. We lost representative government. The, in September of 2008, when Congress said, hell no to the bailouts, and we saw a 700-point drop in the stock market, we saw the, the titans of Wall Street march into D.C. and then write the legislation that would later be TARP. We got lied to, said it was $600 billion, uh, $700 billion, $600 billion used, and it's all paid back. We know now it's trillions. We know now that everything that's been written uh, since then has been written of, by, and for the special interests that got us into this problem. We are absolutely less of a uh, representative uh, government country than any country inside of Europe. And that's what we've seen over the last three and a half, four years, is them trying to break down Europe, break down their parliaments, break down their uh, representation, put in their technocrats, uh, and force Europe to uh, immerse all of it, not just the healthy portions of Europe, all of it, in this completely onerous debt that Mike just so eloquently described as totally fraudulent from the word go. And, you know, so I guess we're going to have choices here going forward. We're either going to have an awakened uh, populace on this planet that say, to hell with this. We're not being sub uh, subjected to any more of these neo-feudal tactics. We're going to say, no, this debt doesn't exist. It's fictionary. You know, what's, what's uh, valuable as currency is going to be gold and silver, tangible items, maybe uh, even uh, other commodities. But this fantasy of derivatives and this fantasy of these exotic investment vehicles, no more. We've had enough. We need to put people... We need to perp walk these criminals we need to get some integrity back in our government well what we need to do is remember that we should never put any kind of our society under the control of people who can directly profit from it and one of the things i've been telling my listeners on my own show is putting bankers in charge of the national economy makes as much sense as putting drug addicts in charge of the health system <laughs> after a while all the really good stuff is vanished into the pockets of the rulers and the nation's trying to get by on placebos which is, that's what a Federal Reserve note is. It's not money, it's a placebo. It's an illusion of money. And um, so we, we need to basically uh, 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 take care of that. Let's see, I, somebody's trying to call me. I've got to put them to voicemail. But yeah, it, it really is. Uh, you, this country was started with a very revolutionary concept, which was that the government issued its own money for the benefit of the people, it would circulate through commerce without accruing interest, was taxed back at the same amount to close the cycle a, a, at the end. And it was quite revolutionary, and the banking families of Europe were just absolutely horrified at this idea. And, uh, you know, as a result, you know, we had this American Revolution, and we fought the American Revolution to be, um, hang on a second. No problem, no problem. I, you know, it, do, you want me to, do you want me to take that, and I'll run with it no, for no, a minute? No, no, no. Okay. Well, yeah, all right, go ahead and take that. All right, all right. Go ahead and run for a minute. Well, I'm shut up the mic. Okay. And I want to pipe in, actually. Oh, you're, hi, Karen, you're there. <laughs> <laughs> we're moving in the background in a second charlie we're going to show you that uh jp has uh, worked wonders and now we've got three chat rooms all on the same page including yours so we can all chat and kind of keep up with each other and now since i told you that i forgot the really important thing Wait a minute, you've got you've got three chat rooms. <laughs> you've got three chat rooms in one location Yes, we wow, do. You guys are. You guys are. Uh... All right, I'm back here. Everybody was the wrong number. <laughs> and they kept calling and calling and calling, and I kept hitting the the voicemail. And it was Bernanke. He didn't like what you were saying. He wanted to interrupt. Yeah, it. yeah, Ben Bernanke or somebody, <laughs> or it's Lloyd Blankfein out there saying, "I'm doing the will of God," you know, by destroying the planet's economy. Well, Lloyd, if you're doing the will of God or doing God's work, then God is a sick, psychotic bastard. So. Uh, well, that's the God he worships, I, I, I am more than sure is. I know what I was going to say, Michael. I, I just, 
I don't believe that it's a mistake anymore. I believe that this is part of a plan. And as long as we can think that they're incompetent and they can distract us with voting, which is a marketing exercise, then we'll forget about the fact that we have no say. They could care less. And it is part of the plan because you can't have global government unless you have eviscerated economies who say, help me, we're starving. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Uh, And again, I do think it is deliberate. I mean, all of human history is a a battle, if you will, between people who just want to be left alone to live their lives, you know, in peace, and that certain group of sociopathic maniacs who believe that all of humanity was brought into existence purely to serve their own greed. And it seems like every 50 to 100 years, we'll get a guy or a group of people uh, who just think how much better the world would be if I was running everything on it. And uh, now they call it New World Order. Hitler called it the Third Reich. I forget what Alexander the Great called it. But it's the same idea over and over and over again, that I want to be on top of a pyramid built to my own glory, screaming, I'm king of the world, and everybody around the planet does what I tell them to do for whatever lie will get them to do it. You know, the pharaoh got the the slaves, well, well, they weren't even slaves. The pharaoh got the Egyptians to build his pyramid by promising them that they could evade death. Uh, and, uh, it, you know, it's whatever is going to work, whatever lie will work to get the people to do what they're, they're being told to do. And one of the big lies was ruled by divine right. Another one of the big lies to rule the people was ruled by chattel ownership of your body. And the current age, the lie is ruled by imposed manufactured debt obligations. 